It's been so long since the last Bridgerton season was released, but it looks like the new one might be coming out sooner than we anticipated. As the last two seasons were so successful, the fans are already talking about how excited they are about the third one, especially with all the pictures swirling around on the internet of the behind the scenes of the show. But the shocking thing that we didn't see was Phoebe Dinova in any of the photos. It started a rumor that she might not be returning for the third season, and Phoebe later confirmed the rumors by saying, Sadly not in season three. Uh, Potentially in the future, um, but yeah, season three, I'm just excited to watch as a viewer. A lot of people think that Phoebe might have made the right choice, considering how she didn't have much to do in the last season and her storyline kind of disappeared in the background. The character that was the centre of season one hardly had any screen time in season two, so this might be the reason Phoebe decided to call it quits, until she gets a good story arc for her character. Other than Phoebe, there's another very obvious change in the cast that you might have noticed from the behind-the-scenes photos. A new face was spotted and it was Hannah Dodd. She's looking radiant in the family pastels and she'll be playing Francesca Bridgerton. A lot of people believe that this new season will be a foundation for Francesca's story, as she'll most likely meet her match in Bridgerton 3. Getting back to the main cast, they're not really posting much of the behind the scenes on their Instagram, but Nicola Coughlin, who has transitioned from being a side character to the main lead in the Bridgerton universe, actually posted a photo a little while back that clearly showed us that she was running lines with Luke Newton, who played plays Colin Bridgerton on the show. We would also see that Claudia Jesse, playing Eloise, is also sitting at the table with Colin and Penelope. So this picture might be suggesting that Eloise and Penelope are trying to work their differences out. Eloise would obviously be devastated since season two ended on kind of a rough note between the two, and Eloise feels like Penelope betrayed and used her. Claudia, playing Eloise, actually talked about it when Luke asked her what crushed Eloise the most after she found out that her best friend has been hiding her real identity as Lady Whistledown for so long. Upon this, Claudia replied, The lies, the lies. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's probably slightly humiliating because she now will look back at that time when she's been on these mad quests in altercations with the yes. Queen. Yeah. And Penelope saw all of it. But when Eloise will see her friend struggling to find a suitable mate for the third year in a row, she might find a soft spot for her. Or Colin will end up becoming the matchmaker for Eloise and Penelope. Besides, Pen had her own reasons to publish the information about the new scandal of the Bridgerton family, and especially Eloise, so she's not going to be sorry for it anytime soon. It will be interesting to see how the two women who are hell bent on proving themselves right are going to cave and apologize to save their friendship. This is going to be a huge part of Bridgerton 3, as the photo from Nicola's profile indicates that this season might not just be about love, but also about friendship and sacrifice. In the photo, Penelope was also wearing a very different and pastel-coloured gown, while for the last two seasons, she's been wearing very bright-coloured dresses. So the change isn't just going to be in her personality, but also in the way she carries herself. She'll be making more of an effort to find a husband this season, as in Bridgerton 1 and Bridgerton 2, she was kind of stalling. Not only this, but Nicola Coughlin also gave us a sneak peek of the first lines and title of episode one of the new series. Dearest gentle reader, we've been apart for far too long. At last, London's smart set has made its return, and so too has this author. It does seem like Lady Whistledown will have a lot to write in the new season, but it will also be interesting to see how she manages to escape the biggest scandal. She'll have to dodge every possibility of including herself in a scandalous paper, while also having some pretty intense moments with Colin out of wedlock. And from this point forward, it only gets better, because Penelope being a part of the ton and not an outsider will make it really hard for her to hide her alter ego. And there will be intense moments when we'll almost feel like Lady Whistledown's identity is going to be revealed. Field. But that won't be happening anytime soon, considering how there is still a bunch of Bridgerton siblings who all deserve their own scandals. If these scandals aren't going to make you binge the new show, then brace yourself, because reports are that the steamy scenes in the new show are only going to get more passionate, even more than the first season. It's because Colin and Penelope have been simmering in this very slow romance, that if they drag it any further, the audience will start losing interest. So, in the last season, there are quite a few scenes where we see Penelope and Colin hopelessly being drawn towards one another. Nicola actually talked about it, and she said that she was horrified by these scenes, although she always knew that they're going to be in the script. She even said that it's really awkward and embarrassing for her to watch intimate scenes with other couples. So what would happen if she sees a scene of herself? Besides, Penn is also concerned about her family seeing a little too much of her in those scenes. So she's even requested a family-friendly version of the new show, so that she could give it to her family without drawing in embarrassment. Nicola also seemed a little uneasy previously 
nervously when she had to shoot certain scenes, especially the spicy ones. She revealed her anxiety by saying, There's a scene in the carriage, and it's just if they're sort of arguing and then it all gets very romantic. It terrifies me to think of filming, but I think it would be really great. Moreover, Nicola always knew what was coming next for her, and she even revealed that she used to joke about it quite a lot. But then she recalled, It becomes progressively less funny and more intimidating as time goes on. Although these scenes are going to give the audiences their money's worth, as they've been seeing Penelope and Colin not making a move for far too long now, and it's taken a toll on them. We also got to see the first look of the Bridgerton brothers, as they looked radiant as ever in their Regency-era dresses. But it doesn't seem like the charms of Colin would work so easily on Penelope, now that she's hell-bent on moving on from him. She is not looking for love in the new series, instead she's looking for a husband, which could be quite an issue in their love life. And when talking about love life, how could we forget about the budding love of Eloise Bridgerton with the simpleton across the town? She might not have a future with the man, but they share great chemistry. Is the shock you seem to be displaying at present due to the fact that I appear well-read and articulate? Or do you suffer from some medical ailment about which I should be informed? So there's bound to be a scandal involving Eloise and Theo. The two are most likely to fall in love, but considering the track record of the ton, they would never accept Theo as one of their own. And Eloise would probably have a tragic end to her story. This will be another nudge for her to continue her career as a feminist and break the barriers of all the discriminations. This season could also tell us if the Queen will be close to catching Lady Whistledown or not. The Queen has been on this pursuit ever since season one, and she's actually come really close a couple of times. So we are still yet to see how Penelope dodged that bullet. We also didn't get to see where the story of Benedict goes, as he found out that Anthony was the one who got him to the art school with a generous donation, and that he hasn't accomplished anything in life by himself. So Benedict Bridgerton will most likely go through an existential crisis in the third season until he meets someone who puts all of his worries to rest. If you haven't noticed yet, Benedict's story is progressing really slowly, and if you've read the books, you already know that this isn't how things go originally. But the creators are taking their sweet time. So Benedict first realises what he wants to do with his life and then finds a love interest. So according to reports, season 3 will establish a love interest for Benedict and the next season is probably going to be about it. Interestingly, season 3 was initially going to be about Benedict, but the creators realised that if they let Colin and Penelope's romance simmer for one more season, people are going to be tired of it and it will get annoying. So they decided to skip a book and move directly to Colin. In another first look of Bridgerton, we could also see Kate Sharma and Anthony waving at the crowd. Their story will take a very interesting turn as they've been running away from each other so far, but now they're actually together. Things aren't going to be easy. Kate will have to navigate her way through the Bridgerton family and take up duties of the Viscountess that's surely going to take a toll on her. We might even see Kate and Anthony have their honeymoon phase and then their transition back to normal life. In addition to all of this, the creators are already done with filming of Bridgerton 3 as they started of July of 2022. So by now, they're already working on editing and marketing of the show, which typically takes a couple of months. Although they're yet to quote a date for the release, the show is most likely to be out by the end of 2023, or the beginning of 2024. Any teaser or trailer of Bridgerton 3 hasn't been released, and they're most probably going to release it in a week or two before the actual show comes out. It's making the fans really excited for the show, as the hype of season 3 has gone through the roof, especially with the Bridgerton spin-off about to be released. So, do you think that Lady Whistledown will be able to capture the same magic this time? Time around too. As always, don't forget to let us know in the comments section below. Take care and thank you so much for watching.